Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Today we're going to do a real quick video. I'm going to talk about three sliders that are in Lightroom that will really help you add some pop to your images. I'm talking about the Texture, Clarity, and Dehay sliders that are in the Basic tab of Lightroom. Now these three sliders are also in the Local Adjustment Tools. The Graduated Filter, the Radio Filter, and the Brush. But in this video, we're going to mainly talk about the global adjustments. Now, we'll start out at the top with texture. Texture just adds some sharpness to your image. So it's kind of um, a sharpness control, but it's a little bit more obvious than if you went to detail and you move the sharpening amount slider to the right. With texture, if you move that to the right, you'll see you'll bring out the finer texture in an image. Now, what I found and what many people have talked about is that this is a great slider for macros such as this flower. Now if you move texture to the left, you'll see you'll kind of blur out those finer elements or finer uh, details that are in an image. So it'll give you more of an ethereal look if that's what you want. But most often, for me at least, I'll move this to the right. And you can see as I move it to the right, it really brings out that detail in this flower. So I'll just keep moving it left and right. And hopefully you could see that in the video. So texture is a little bit more of a, a, what I would say a fine adjustment. It really adjusts the finer details in an image. So whenever you have an image that has a lot of fine detail, a macro or something that uh, needs that fine detail brought out, consider moving that texture slider to the right. On the other hand, if it has fine detail that you want to diminish, you may want to move that texture slider to the left. Now the next slider we're going to talk about has been in Lightroom uh, almost from the beginning, or I think from the beginning actually. It's the Clarity slider, and a lot of people consider this mid-tone contrast. The reason for that is if you look at the histogram up here, you'll see that as I move the Clarity slider to the right, you'll see that the entire histogram kind of moves up, kind of gets taller, but it's not linear, meaning it's not making the far left and far right of the histogram uh, just as tall as it's making the middle part of the histogram. It's mainly doing it to the middle, or the mid-tones. And this uh, slider alone is great for landscape images where you could really add a lot of pop to those um, details that are typical in a landscape image. Now you can see, as I move it to the right, look at the water. You'll notice that the water just gets more contrast to it. So you could bring out those peaks of the waves in the in the bottom part, the brighter parts of the waves with that. Now conversely, if you want to give your image a more ethereal look, you can move it to the left. And you can see that now it has this real kind of dreamy look. So the clarity slider is awesome for landscape images. You don't want to use usually texture or clarity on a portrait. You may want to add just a tiny bit of texture to bring out maybe the pores of someone's skin just a little bit. But you don't want to overdo it and clarity will tend to really bring out um, harsher details in a person's face and typically you don't want to do that um, if someone does have maybe that um, like a little bit of wrinkles or something you want to diminish slightly you may want to move clarity slightly to the left but typically uh, both of those sliders you don't use too much on a portrait now finally we'll talk about the dehay slider now the dehay slider does exactly what it implies, is it will remove haze from an image. Now most typically this will be in a landscape image such as this. And you can see that it had a kind of an interesting look here. I think I framed it okay, but man, that haze is really ruining the image. Now if you move dehaze to the right, you'll start to dehaze the image. And you can see that it as soon as I move it to the right, it's starting to remove the haze from the water and the front part of the trees right here. So you can see as I move it how it does that. It's not doing such a great job way off in the distance. The more I move it to the right, it just really increases contrast a lot. So you can see how it's increasing the contrast of the water, the trees in the foreground, and so on. And it doesn't look that great. So dehaze is more hit and miss compared to the other two sliders. Now, if you want to add haze to an image, you move dehaze to the left. And you can see that we're adding haze uh, to the image. Now, because these three uh, adjustments are also in the local adjustment tools, dehaze may be a better tool to use 
uh, for like haze where you could spot it. Because in this instance, as I'm talking, as I'm moving it to the right, you can see how it's really kind of ruining the water and the trees in the foreground. Well, what you could do is in lieu of the dehaze uh, slider, go up to contrast. If you move contrast to the right, you'll get rid of some of that haze. You can see how it's diminishing the haze. So you can move contrast to the right and then go to say the brush. And then with the brush tool, we'll reset everything, double click on the word effect, and we'll go down to dehaze and move it to the right. And then maybe off in the distance here, we'll try to brush it in. Now you can see how it really is making everything a little bit darker. So it's kind of a hard um, adjustment to use in general, uh, especially if you have an image like this. So it's been my um, experience that dehaze seems to work best with just a little bit of haze, not on an image like this. You could see how that is just kind of not really cutting it. But if I go up to contrast, I move that to the right, that seems to be maybe a little better job. So we could kind of come in there with the contrast slider there, close that down, go back to the global dehaze, and move that to the right. And you can see that it helps a little bit. It's still a tough slider to use. So dehaze is more hit and miss. Whereas texture and clarity, you'll pretty much know what you're going to get, especially when you're using texture on macros or things with that finer detail and clarity on landscape images. You pretty much know what you're getting. Dehaze, it's kind of an image to image basis. Um, your best bet is to try to go back and get the shot when the light is better. And then uh, you'll be better uh, off then than trying to fix it in post. So those are the three sliders in Lightroom that I think will uh, do the best job of adding some pop to your images. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.